So I'm assuming that you already have installed VMware Workstation Player on your Windows operating system. So now the only thing remains is the download of the Ubuntu 20.04 LTS ISO file. So let's see how we can download the Ubuntu ISO file. First of all, you can just search for Ubuntu and the first link which will appear here will be from ubuntu.com. So I'm going to just click on this link and straight away you will uh, see uh, this option here which says uh, what's new in Ubuntu 20.04 because 20.04 is the latest version of Ubuntu which is released recently. So here you will see a downloads uh, tab here and when you click on the download tab you will see the Ubuntu desktop so you can just click on uh, the version which is available and most probably you might want to install the LTS version okay so make sure that whenever you install Ubuntu you install the LTS version LTS means the long-term support version which will uh, uh, at least run for two years okay so the support will run for two years so I'm going to just click on Ubuntu desktop and here you will see the download button so I'm going to just click on the download button and when you click on the download button the ISO file will be downloaded on your uh, Windows operating system so this file is around 2.5 GB file so it will take some time to download but I have already downloaded this file on my Windows operating system so I'm going to just cancel uh, this download and also if you want to support Ubuntu project then you can uh, just uh, give small donation to Ubuntu for now I don't want to do anything so I have just downloaded the ISO file so once you have downloaded this Ubuntu 20.04 desktop hyphen AMD 64 ISO file we are ready to create our virtual machine on our VMware workstation player so on your VMware workstation player what you can do is you can just click on the create a new virtual machine and then you just need to choose this option which says I will install the operating system later so just choose the third option which says I will install the operating system later and then click next and now choose uh, Linux here because we are installing Ubuntu and by default you can see Ubuntu is uh, selected here you just need to just uh, open this list and then choose Ubuntu 64 bit okay so just select Ubuntu 64 bit and then click next and this will be the name of your virtual machine which is Ubuntu 64 bit you can also give the version for example 20.04 and this will be the location where your virtual machine will be saved so if you want to change the location you can change the location uh, by just browsing uh, to the location wherever you want to save your uh, Ubuntu virtual machine now I'm going to just click on next here you can specify the disk capacity so let's say I want to specify the disk capacity of 100 GB here and also you need to choose the second option here which says split virtual disk into multiple files and then click on next now on this next window you just need to click on the customize hardware option here and then you can uh, just customize your hardware so by default the memory given to our uh, Ubuntu operating system by VMware is 2 GB you can just move it up for example so I will give it let's say 8 GB here and then I can go to the processor option by default it's uh, one processor core I can uh, change it to the four processor cores and then I will go to the next uh, option here which says new CD DVD auto detect okay so just select this option and then click on uh, this option which says use ISO file okay so just choose this option and then browse for your ISO file wherever you have uh, downloaded your Ubuntu ISO file so I will just copy the path from here and then uh, just select the ISO file from here and then click on open which is going to just select this ISO file here 
and once you have selected this ISO file you can also do the other settings for example network adopter setting or sound card setting and display settings but for now I will leave everything as default and then click on a close option here and then click on the finish option here so once you have clicked on the finish option you will see that your Ubuntu virtual machine is created here now if you want to change your virtual machine settings at any time you can click on this option so I'm going to just click on edit virtual machine settings option and you can once again verify the memory processor and the hard disk which is 100 GB here and then you can also verify the ISO file which you have selected okay so if everything looks good just click OK and then select your Ubuntu machine and then click on play virtual machine so once you do that you will see uh, this kind of window and also you will see software update window also so I will just say download and install and I will move this window to the side and you can see Ubuntu uh, operating system is starting and now you will see this kind of uh, window here so here you just need to select the language in which you uh, need to install your Ubuntu I will select English and then click on install Ubuntu here and then on this next window I can choose the keyboard layout so let's say I am using the German keyboard layout so I will uh, just choose the German uh, language here and then select the German here and then you can also test your keyboard by typing something here so just uh, select the language in which your keyboard will be used and then click on continue and now in this next window you will see updates and uh, software I will leave it as default and in addition I will check this uh, checkbox also which says install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and now I will click on continue and now on this next window you will see installation type just leave erase disk and install Ubuntu option as it is and don't worry it's not going to uh, erase anything from your Windows operating system it's just an option in the installation of Ubuntu on the hardware so just leave it as it is and then click on install now now you will see this warning just click on continue here and now just choose the location which is nearer to your physical location Berlin looks good for me I will click on the next button and on this uh, window you can give the name to your Ubuntu operating system I will just say code uh, bind here and then uh, your uh, computer name I will just uh, name my computer name as uh, code bind once again and then the username is also code bind so you can uh, choose different names here but I will choose the same name and then provide the password so I have chosen the weak password here but you uh, may want to uh, provide the strong password here and then confirm your password and then click on the continue button and at this point uh, the installation of the Ubuntu on your VMware player will start so now you just need to wait for the installation to complete it might take few minutes for this installation to complete so I will wait for the installation to complete so now you can see the installation of Ubuntu 20.04 LTS version is finished and it's giving me this message which says installation is complete you need to restart computer in order to uh, use a new installation so I will just click on restart now this is going to restart our Ubuntu operating system and at this point it says please remove the installation medium and press enter so I'm going to just press enter at this point and you can see the Ubuntu operating system is restarting and now I can see uh, the login window here so here I can give my Ubuntu's password which I have uh, chosen earlier at the time of installation and then press enter which is going to open the Ubuntu desktop so I can see this Ubuntu desktop here and I can just uh, click on this maximize button which is going to resize this window and then I can uh, click on the skip option here 
and then click on next next and next and done and now you are ready to use your ubuntu 20.04 lts version on vmware player on your windows 10 operating system